All right, fifth graders, decided to record one more video before I left for tonight. So this is Georgia Standards of Excellence, five for fifth grade, NBT, numbers and operations and base, 10, and two represents the second standard within this domain. But remember, we already, the previous video I uploaded in this same outfit, <laughs> I did this with a, another lesson objective, which was write and evaluate repeated factors in exponent form. Same standard. But this time, we're still working with NBT2, but our lesson objective for t this video is to use a basic fact and a pattern to multiply mentally, which is key, mentally, by multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000. So remember, you don't have to write this down. This is already in your unit plan. While you're watching me and I'm going over this, you should go ahead and pause the video if you have not gotten your math journal or your pencil and take out your video response sheet. All right, let's move on. All right, anytime you go ahead and pause this now, copy all of this. Yes, all of this. You have time, you're at home. You're probably on your way to soccer practice or football practice or dance or theater practice or chilling. I don't know, you're on your way somewhere. You're watching me somewhere. Go ahead and pause the video and copy this information now. Not gonna take you long. If you don't talk, like I tell you in class, if you don't talk, you can get more copy down than what you think you could. All right? Now, you can use basic facts, patterns, and powers of 10 to help you multiply whole numbers by multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000. Using mental math and a pattern to find 90 times 6,000. Well, we're still working with patterns, sorry, with powers of 10. So we have 90 times 6,000. Well, 9 times 6 from 90 and 6,000, you multiply these two together, those are your basic facts out of those powers of 10. So nine times six is considered a basic fact. And nine times six, I know my fifth graders know this, is 54. So how many zeros do I have in 90 and 6,000? That's one, two, three, four. So all I'm going to do is add four zeros. One, two, three, four. So 90 times 6,000 is 540,000. Pretty easy. The mental part knows when you, comes from you knowing your basic facts. If you know your multiplication facts and you're multiplying by powers of 10, you know when to add the zeros to get your final product of your value, which is your value. So let's use mental math to complete the pattern. Right here, I have, um, this is I do, we do this together, and then the next page, it's all you. That's right, it's you. Just you. Nobody else but you. Not mom, not dad. Just you. Not brother, not sister, just you. Not auntie, not uncle, not mom, not dog, not the cat. Just you. Not grandma, granddaddy. Just you. All right, now I'm going to check for it. I'm going to check. If I see mom and dad, beautiful cursive handwriting, I'm just, now I know that's not your handwriting. I want you to do it because you are going to take that Georgia milestones at the end of the year. Yes, you. So you have to know and perfect this standard like I know you can. Yes, know you can do this. All right, so we have five times one. That is our basic fact. We know in our head, and we know those fives. Five times one is five. So we do five times 10 
I know that will be 50. Then I do five times 100, well, let's see. I have one zero there, two zeros there, three zeros there, four zeros there. So it seems like the values are increasing every time I multiply by another power of 10. So 100 is kind of like saying 10 to the second power because there's two zeros. Five times 1,000, that's kind of like saying 10 to the third power because there's three zeros. And then five times 10,000, that's like saying 10 to the fourth power because there's four zeros. I see a pattern. I hope you guys see the same pattern that I see. So let me go ahead and five times 100, well that's five, and then two zeros. Five times 1,000, that's five, and then three zeros. 5 times 10,000, 50,000. Notice, I did not have to set a problem up and say, okay, 100 times 5, that's 0, and that's 0, and that's 5. I didn't have to do that. All I did was look at the number of zeros that I have in my power of 10, which is 100. My basic fact is 5. So 5 times 1, 5 times 1, 5 times 1, 5 times 1. And all I did was add the number of zeros that I had for my power of 10. And that gave me my product. Fabo! I bet your mind is like this. Mind blown. Now, let's move on to this one. Our basic fact right here is 8 times 2, which is 16. Oh, look what I put down here. Miss Davis was going a little cuckoo. This is supposed to be. Let me change this really quickly. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> All right, so seven times two is 14. Now, we know 7 times 2 right here. We're going to do this first. Remember with PEMDAS, whatever's in parentheses, you perform that operation first. So 7 times 2, we know that is 14. So I'm going to go ahead and write down, once I change it back to my pen, I'm going to do this. I'm going to write down 14 for each one of these because you know what? I already know that 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 2 is 14. Then I'm going to go back and say, all right, how many zeros do I have? One. So how many zeros do I want to add? One. How many zeros do I have? Two. So how many am I going to add? Two. How many do I have? Three. How many am I going to add? Three. How many do I have? Four. How many am I going to add? Four. So it went from 140 to 1,400 to 14,000 to 140,000. Look at the pattern. One zero, two zero, three zeros, four zeros. One zero, two zero, three zero, four zeros. Again, mine. Now, this right here, like I told you, this is all you. Yes, this is all you. All right? Now, your basic fact is 3 times 6 equals 18. Your basic fact is 7 times 5, which equals 35. Use mental math to complete the pattern. What you already see is increasing. Two zeros, three, four, five. And then over here, one, two, three, four. So think about powers of 10. Pause the video and go ahead and copy all of this down. This is all you. Yes, both of the problems. <laughs>
Smiley face. Love you guys. Now, 3 times 6 is 18. I already know that. Oh, wait a minute. I'm starting this wrong. See, I got too excited, and then look what I did. But I caught my mistake. And see, math teachers, we make mistakes, but we learn from our mistakes. It's okay. Everyone's not perfect. So I want to see what can, what power of 10 can I multiply by to give me 1,800? Well, look back here. What power of 10 were we multiplying by? And remember I wrote the exponents right next to it? So we're going to put the exponents here. So if I have 18 and then two zeros, it must have been 10 to the second power. Here, it must have been 10 to the third power, 10 to the fourth power, I have five zeros, so that's 10 to the fifth power. Yes, sir, Bob. And then here, I have one zero, so that's 10 to the first power, two zeros, 10 to the second power, three zeros, 10 to the third power, and four zeros, 10 to the fourth power. Am I the only one whose mind is being blown? I don't know. These patterns I'm seeing, I'm comparing things, I'm using my mental math, I know what comes next because I know my powers of 10. You guys are going to be like this when you're doing your work because you know what? You're going to know your powers of 10 and then you're going to be awesome and then you're going to come here and do that Plinkers assessment and then you're going to get the Plinkers assessment correct and then you're going to move on to that next standard because you are awesome and you know you're awesome. Yes. All right. Now let's recap this lesson. You probably said, whoa, this video is short. Yes, because I am breaking down this standard and we're going to do little chunks of it at a time. And then once we get all the little videos together, you guys will be cooking. I say cooking, 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 cooking. So we just completed the lesson objective of using a basic fact and a pattern to multiply mentally by multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000. GSC 5 NBT 2. If you have any questions about this video, remember, write it on your video response sheet and I will get back to you. And then you sign up for Davis Direct. Tell me, Ms. Davis, I'm the artist learning this, this standard and this lesson objective. Pause the video, write this down if you need to. So when you go to Davis Direct and type it in, I know exactly which video you're talking about, okay? Hope you have a good time. See you guys in the morning. Love you. Mwah.